Welcome back to Daytime Ottawa. My next guest is a fantastic career coach and the author of this uh, amazing book. And, I, and I'm going to read you the title because I just love it. It's called Sex, Self-Esteem, and Sheer Stupidity, Surviving Your 20s and Beyond. I am joined by Tanya Pomerantz. She is the author and, as I said, career coach with Puddle Jump Coaching. Welcome back. Great Thank to have you, you here. Um, we had such a great conversation the last time we were here. Mm -hmm. And I, I wanted to start off talking about, because I know you went through this, and you're very open and honest in, in your book about comparing ourselves to others and you found yourself doing this and I guess realized Tanya the dangers of doing that T tell me a little bit about you know why you were doing that and and what were some of those those dangers of, of comparing yourself to others yes so um, I just actually was in the green room and I was reading a little part about that and I just I just felt so badly for that person uh, because it's this sense of not being good enough and um, and it's a very emotional thing yeah, um, it, yeah. it took me 30 years in writing that book as you know mm -hmm. and as I was as I was writing it I would I would or reading it you know I would feel so so sad for, for for me and for every other person who feels this way that they're that they're not good enough. Yeah. Um, and let me just say, I'm so glad that I grew up not in the social media world. Yeah, me because too. Because that I... wouldn't that be terrible? Mm -hmm. It's so it is very dangerous. That sense of not being good enough. That sense of um, uh, just not measuring up. Do you think that happens to to women more than than men, Tanya? I think it does. I do too. Yeah. I, I think it does because uh, just like you know the women in this in this program, um, for instance, um, Ariel, you know, what, what are you wearing as a city councilor? Uh, the the type of, of hatred that women are subjected to, um, you know, what Hillary was wearing, pantsuits all the time, like everything, yeah. the makeup, the hair, it, that's the superficial stuff. So for yeah, sure. yeah. What do you, you know, when you think back, what, what do you wish you knew back in your 20s that, that, that you, <laughs> I just love the reaction. Oh, Derek, God, don't ask me this. Um, yeah, what do you think, you know, you wish you knew back then that, that, that you know now? So much. Yeah. So much. I did bring a cheat sheet because I can't, I never remember the, all of them, but there are only four of them. And the, the Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. Okay. Um, never make assumptions. Mm -hmm. Be impeccable with your word. Always do your best. And the big one, don't take things personally. You did a lot of that, didn't you? All the time. My mother would always tell me, don't take things personally. It's not about you. Then when I was taking my coaching program, I, I learned about this, and I learned what it really means is it's, there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that I don't know about. Right. Like, for instance, in an employment world, if somebody applies for a job and they're waiting to hear back from the HR people, you have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. And it's the same thing. If we came in today and you, um, you didn't sleep well or you weren't feeling yourself and then I, I came in and we're having this and you weren't the same lovely way that you always are, I'd be like, oh no, what have, what have I done? Well, it's right. not about me. It's about the fact that you didn't sleep well or whatever. Mm. So don't take things personally. That is a huge, big one for me. It's a, it's a great perspective to have. Um, the theme for International Women's Day is embracing equity. Mm. Um, I, I know that you've, you've sort of discussed this before, but you know, equity and equality, what's the difference between those two okay. in your mind? I'll tell you, and I was watching uh, Real Time with Bill Maher, and he mm. was asking Bernie, Bernie Sanders, about this. Okay. The two of them didn't know, so I'm going to explain. Okay. So okay. I watched this. Uh, so picture this. There's a, uh, a baseball game going on, and there's a big fence, out, you know, around the place. Yeah. And um, there's three people. They've all had this opportunity. It's an equal opportunity for them to watch this game. One guy is really tall and he's able to look over the fence, no problem. One girl is shorter and so she, she can't see. And then a third person is using a wheelchair, okay? So tall guy is there, 
Then there's the, the girl, so she gets a, a you know, a, a box that she can stand on. Right. Now she can see. Right. But what about the person in the wheelchair? They need to have not just a box, but like a ramp so that they can go up there and now they can be on that, that same level. And now everyone can look out and see the same thing. Everyone's on a level playing field. Right. Um, when you, I, I think you've called this, you know, to part of your life, Tanya, is sort of your second act, mm. right? Yes. Um, you seem to be in such a better place in this second act. How have you managed to get to this place? I love that question. <laughs> and it, it, because of purpose. Yeah. Because I found my place in the world and I understand what I need to be doing and, and because of gratitude. And I am, as I say, I live in a perpetual state of gratitude. I'm grateful for everything I have um, and for the people in my world and for what I get to do and for who I get to do it with. Um, I'm grateful for the smallest things like getting a pull through parking spot, <laughs> you know, I just it did everything. I love that. So I love that. I'm, it, it really is, it's all about gratitude and, and really finding my purpose and my, uh, my place in the world and, um, and understanding that life is short and this is just a gift that we're given. Well, I'm, I'm so glad. I know that, you know, you had some of the, you know, such dark times, Tanya, and to see you, you know, come through it like this is, uh, it's, it's really encouraging because, you know, sharing a, a personal story is very difficult and that you put it down on I, paper I know is it's pretty difficult. special. Right? I know your story too, mister. Well, thank you. Um, where can people get a copy of this great book? Uh, Amazon. Um, and then, uh, uh, Singing Pebble, um, Books on Beechwood, uh, Spaniel's Tale in Hindenburg, and Chapters, I know they're having their little cyber thing, Okay. Uh, but uh, South Keys and then Pinecrest. Fantastic, thanks for joining us, we'll be right back. Okay. <laughs>